Hey, Soul Gardeners, it's Julie Zipper. Do you suck at meditation? Well, give me 40 days and we can transform that. For more details, go to 40daymeditation.com. Hello, my Aquarian, and welcome now to Tuesday. Also, happy Lacast Day, the most powerful day of the month to manifest intentions. Now, this one might be the shittiest Lycast Day of the year. I'm just going to say that very frankly. That's because it's happening all in your subconscious. In fact, yesterday, Uranus ruled the day. Little dose of your own medicine. Rule breakdown today, followed by breakthrough surrounding the issues of weeds in your soul garden. These are your haunting fears, your bad habits, your self-sabotage behavior. We all have it. I just went through it myself. It sucks. And the universe probably tripped you up in the last 24 hours. Today, it's time to make it right. But you will probably be detached and rather grumpy. That's because the moon, your emotion, and the sun are both today in the subconscious. So the pot is getting super stirred right now. You might pay real close attention to the dreams you're having too. I find the metaphors during this particular dreaming state, the time where we have energy in the 12th, is really prophetic to what's going on in our life and perhaps things we are running from. So it's not a coincidence that you had a dream about your ex the last 24 hours. It's probably part of the pattern. Nonetheless, this is the best day of the month to manifest and spiritually get out of this trap, okay? To put your energy into manifesting a life where you have faith in yourself, where there are no demons and you feel demon free. It is possible, believe it or not, and Capricorns, if you want to know, already went through this in the last 12 years with Pluto and Sag. So you might lean on your, ex your next door neighbor Capricorn and ask them how the hell did they do it. They probably won't tell you though, they're very private. Now it's Tuesday, we've got an episode of Just Ask Us going live today with Lauren Serafan and Angelo Eros. Today a soul gardener writes in about whether or not it's okay to have a friend with benefits. Friends with benefits, does that work spiritually or not? Angela and Lauren will answer that question. And check out Soul Garden's Aquarius Club. We've got a new blog going live today talking about what the Aquariuses are manifesting and their approach to it. So maybe need a little, a little extra astro uh, aqua booster shot. All right, Aqua, that's all I have for the Lightcast Day. Tomorrow, some good news with Venus. Until then, live, love, be. Soul.